All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hey Guys. So we're going to start a new series in Onshape where I'm going to go through and talk about features and tools and what they are, where to find them, how to use them, and why you might be using them. So, um, so let's get started. So I'm assuming that you've already set up your Onshape account and that now you're ready to kind of jump in and start to make something. So when you first open Onshape, what you're going to see is something like this. Now, of course, for you, because you've just begun, you won't have anything in last opened by me or anything in this list. But as you continue to make stuff, this area will populate. So you can see the last four things that you opened. And then all of these down here are the most recently opened. So if you've opened something, maybe you made it like three things ago, it will now be on the top and it goes like that. Over here on the side, you can see there's a lot of different things that you can look at. Um, probably the most important one for you is owned by me, but you might have some documents that maybe your instructor shared with you. Um, so this is where you can find those documents. All right, so to get started, uh, we're gonna come up here to the upper left-hand corner. So we're gonna come up to the upper left-hand corner a lot. You're gonna see that's almost always where something starts. So we're going to click create and we're going to create a document. So Onshape calls all of their files documents. Within each document, there are multiple parts. There's part studios, there's drawings, there's assemblies, there's all kinds of stuff. When you click on that create and click on document, it's going to give you an opportunity to name that document. This is where your instructors probably told you how, um, how they want you to name it. So name it appropriately at this point and click on create. So then when that opens, this is your Onshape uh, area to begin to work. You'll see down here, this is a part studio one. Um, we'll cover later how you can change the name of that. And it always gives you an assembly tab down here at the bottom as well. But of course there's nothing in that. So in order to get started, you're gonna have to start with the sketch. So when we click on sketch, which is again in the upper left hand corner, we need to know where we're going to sketch. So Onshape gives you a default three different planes that you can begin to draw on. So either top plane, front plane, or right plane. Which plane you choose makes a difference. So if you're going to create a part and you know that at some point you're going to want to create a multi-view drawing on that, you want to make sure that when you create your part, that the front view of that part is normal view to the front plane. In other words, if I were to click over here on my view cube to the front, I would be seeing the front view of that object. So for most parts, we tend to start from the top plane and build up. I like to think of the top plane as kind of the ground, but you might have a design that might make more sense if you sketched out its front view. So in other words, from the side and then make it 3D from there. Um, I can think of like a laundry pin would be an excellent example of that. Maybe even a car where drawing from the side view would make the most sense given its shape. So we call that thinking about that ahead of time as design intent. So design intent means that you are thinking down the road about what your design is and designing it in a way that makes the most sense to make it the most easily worked on. All right, so like I said, most of the time we're gonna pick the top plane. Now I can either pick the plane here out in the field or I can come over here to the features list and I can pick any one of those planes from here. I can also toggle on and off my ability to view the different planes by clicking on the light, the eyeball. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the top view, and then I'm going to press the N key. N stands for normal, so it's the normal to view. It's the straight on view. All right, I typically leave these two planes visible from this way because then I get kind of a better idea of quadrants, like where I'm drawing. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about is this dot in the center. The dot in the center is the origin. 
you always want to make sure that you're anchoring your sketch somehow to the origin. And when we start to get into the sketch tools, we'll talk more about that. That'll be in the next episode. But for now, we've got the sketch ready to go. We'll cover some of these sketch tools that are up here on the top bar in the next video. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe.